the reason I chose it is because it's kind of one of the coolest um, things in computer science because in addition to building things, you also get to break things and it's uh, very unusual to be doing something where you actually get to break things apart, see how they fail, so that's, that's the coolest thing you can do. The best piece of advice is someone told me that I have a very unique job where I can do anything I want, so do it. As a child, um, I collected coins, and um, I um, had a very old and dirty and grimy coin, and somebody yes. told me that I can clean it with a vinegar solution. So I tried vinegar, the house smelled very bad for a while, and it didn't work. So that taught me the limitations of chemistry and convinced me to do computer science instead. best thing is being able to work with very smart people, people who are much smarter than myself, and being able to collaborate with them, and being able to choose who I work with. That's unique, and I wouldn't trade that for anything. I would say it's um, independent thinking. It's um, being able to think outside the box and not follow the herd. And it's much harder than it seems, but uh, that's the most important thing, is being able to create your own research directions and find your own approaches. Um, a lot of my research is about privacy, is about understanding what happens to personal data, how to protect it uh, from malicious use, and that's obviously important because these days we live in a world where data about individuals is collected and shared all over the place. So understanding how to protect it is one of the most important things in society today. Well, the good thing about training as a researcher is that it's effectively an apprenticeship system. So you learn from the best researchers and I definitely learned a lot from my undergrad advisor, Craig Chambers at the University of Washington, John Mitchell at Stanford. Um, so I, that's how training works. You, you just learn from the best people, and of course, I, they are the ones who most influenced me as a researcher. I think there is sometimes a tendency to think of computer science as a very high-tech field, and in many ways it is, but in my line of research, which is security and privacy, I think people might be surprised by how much thinking we do that's not high tech. It's just about understanding the nature of the problem, understanding how to attack it, trying to find a new approach. So it's not about equipment. It's really purely about thinking and deeply analyzing issues. Yeah, I um, uh, have, uh, I guess, one thing in my office that I'm very sentimental about. I, had a, I have a boarding pass from the Concorde uh, that I had a chance to fly some number of years ago. So this is an experience that nobody is likely to have um, in our lifetimes again. So um, I guess I would rescue that one. So yeah, I have a very eclectic taste and I have this service. App, uh, it's very popular now called Pandora, which learns from your, um, uh, from your taste and so on. So I have very finely tuned to what I like, so I just listen to very personalized music selections on Pandora.